Hey guys, my name is Sandsner JDBK5 Gaming, and as you may have saw my recent live stream, I lost my audio and all microphone audio to y'all. So I might as well just make a reaction video while I'm waiting for my microphone to charge because apparently I figured out a couple seconds later that it died completely. So. Yeah, um, I'm going to be reacting to some YouTube poops by, um, by this person. I'm not even going to say his name. So let's go ahead and watch. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this first one is called... Winston suffers an identity crisis. This will protect our testable zip. This summer safe. I told you to stop monitoring my vitals, Athena. It has been seven days, 43 hours, and 29 days since your last I told your you to stop monitoring my vitals, Athena. Remember, the health I told you to stop monitoring my vitals. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of typing. Every time you see news of this sort, we go through news of this sort. I remind you, recalling news of this sort to active duty comes with great news of this sort. The Petrus Act gives any Overwatch activity is illegal and punishable by prosecution. I told you to stop watching you, Athena. <laughs> Okay, I'm not a scientist. I'm Athena. 
Next one is called Winston. <laughs> Winston overacts to the destruction of property. That was so boring. So what's the worst? Mine's your favorite. Mine's Fusionator. No, 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 Tracer. Yeah, Tracer. She's like Fusionator. Yeah, Tracer. She's like, she's off the cowboy. Luigi. That's too big. Oh man, they said he could level a skyscraper. <laughs> and remember? You fucking idiot. Okay then. Oh, I've been discovered. Winston, the flying eight.
Also, thank you for a player in one explosion direction there. Please. Please. Stop! You got, he already made this freaking mean once. Watch out! Hey! You! Thank you! Boom! Thank you for a better explosion that time. Oh, come again with this? Again. You know, the world could always use more. Please shut up. Okay, what's this one called? Reaper solos himself doing an important mission. That was definitely a correct grammar. This was supposed to be the most advanced. Do you have satellite? Of course. Of course. Of course. Are you certain the target is a target? Oh, she's here, all right. Stop. Until the inspection is That's not a transition. That's actually the how door. That's actually how it is. Yeah. <laughs> 
Calla. Soldier 76 blows up the run of a shouting. Got it. Thankfully, it's fine. Thankfully, it's fine. Hey, 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 Ali, 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 Ali. Where you going, Ali? Sonic the no, Ali. No, where? <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. You gotta see this, uh, Ali. I have to go to the store before it closes, or my mama's gonna go to the store before it closes. <laughs>
just as when we were boys. Just as when we were boys. I know you tell yourself that you're gay. What? <laughs> it was my duty. And my duty. And my fingers. Stop. Expected at least not. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> My heart, you are nation to a tank heart. Crusaders! Our legacies are our legacies. Stick with your dance partners. Let's crush those dance partners. Enough. Stop. Stop. Here's your walking dick, old man. <laughs> Live with honor. <laughs>
Okay, there's a couple. There might there are a couple other ones of where there's a couple other ones that are in here, like this one, for example. I'm pretty sure. I think, I think the same person made this one. Yeah, it was. Hello, Tyrannosaurus Allen. Well, that's a fine how you do. <laughs> I've got an idea! So we're gonna go over the plan one more time. So you can screw me off! any others I haven't seen yet. I don't know if there's any others that, that aren't in there either. Um, there's this one, I'm pretty sure. And this one's the last one, I'm pretty sure. Am I right to something else? Humanity is always be Humanity. Conflict and conflict and humanity is the crucible through which we evolve. Exactly. Taking forever. Um. Go and sit down. 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 Go and s
<laughs> oh, there's this whole this one right here, but I don't wanna watch it. Yeah, I'll react to something else I guess. So what else could I possibly react to? No, I don't want to watch that. Um I'm trying to find something else to watch. Okay, I found one. It's the Overwatch Heroes as Pokemon. All of the heroes for him. So let's do just that with number one, Hasty. Hasty is so fast it can travel through time. It moves faster than the speed of light. It is literally the fastest bird in the world. And if you can keep up with your Hasty long enough, it will eventually evolve into a Quickly. Some quickies have been known to pass between generations of trainers due to their time traveling abilities. If it could speak, it would tell you about the future. And if your quickly doesn't get lost in time, it will evolve into a Flippy Brit. This hero has the best memory, it can recall even the finest detail. Flippy Brit never forgets, Flippy Brit never forgives. Then in number 4 we have Jackson, the shining example of a hero. Whenever a Jackson is found, world peace shortly follows. And if raised right, will turn into a soul dog, who pretends to be super mysterious, but everyone knows it's just a Jackson evolution. And then the final evolution for Jackson is Disappoint Dad. Usually seen searching for Jacksons, once found it can be heard saying, you let everyone down and you're dead to me. Then at number 7 we have Celestial Heal. Being near a Celestial Heal causes predators to suffer from tunnel vision, allowing it to safely escape. Then evolving into Hellgirl, who only heals when it's praised regularly and faint every time it's administers first aid. Usually ignores its trainers if he or she is critical of its abilities. And then once a year you have the opportunity to get number 9, Cursey. Everyone's favourite evolution that can only occur once a year. Or you can pay someone to force the evolution for you. Who you ask? Well, their name rhymes with Wizard. Coming in at number 10 we have Devious. The smallest hero in the world, Devious is almost impossible to hit because it constantly jumps around. It also has the fastest evolution, evolving after its first battle into Denied. Denied has the toughest face and can stop the strongest attacks just by looking at them. However, it devolves back to Devious after it faints. Then finally into number 12, Destroy. Destroy has been known to cause catastrophic damage to property and wildlife when they sporadically self-destruct. Otherwise, they are normally seen rescuing murmurs. Then coming in at number 13, we have Reflector. Reflector uses its giant mirror to bounce attacks back at its foes, but it mostly just annoys everyone by shining light in their eyes. Though mostly well behaved, it can't help trash talking its opponent. Then at 14, we have Gabrabab. Even from infancy, Gabrabab's plot for world destruction. However, due to their small and frail physique, plus carelessly throwing themselves into danger, they usually perish in the process, but if they don't perish, they will turn into a Repedge who doesn't even care about world destruction. Unsurprisingly, Repedge trainers are equally as edgy as their hero. At number 16 we have Booty, who much like a bumblebee and its wings, no one knows how Booty doesn't violate the laws of physics, 
with such a gigantic abdomen, then evolving into number 17, Arachnabuti. With X-ray vision lets Arachnabuti track prey through walls. If two are in the same area, they stare at each other through a wall. Then finally, evolving into Arachnoscope, Arachnoscopes like to stay back and wait for their prey to move closer before attacking. Trainers have a hard time commanding them to be anywhere useful in a battle. Next up we have number 19, Ryu. Most trainers have two Ryus on average. Sometimes a trainer will jokingly go into battle with all six of their heroes as Ryu. Then Ryu will evolve into number 20, Gawaga, who exhibits strange behaviour around reflectors, trying to sacrifice its own life specifically. But it still has purpose in life, there's more to life than honour, forgive yourself you beautiful bastard. Then finally, Gawaga will evolve into number 21, Simpleometry, who boasts about its mathematics prowess and sick trick shots, however professionals are convinced it merely compensates by firing more arrows. Then at number 22 we have a female pub run, in much confusion to its rivals, pub run allows them to attack it without any threat of a counter attack, a favourite meat shield amongst trainers. Then evolving into number 23, Pub Russia, one of the most reliable heroes a trainer can befriend. Pub Russia will do all it can to protect its squad. Its only downfall is how glaringly obvious it is when it fails an attack. Then finally, evolving into number 24, Pub Queen, who obviously lifts anything that isn't rooted to the ground. Professional trainers suggest you flee when encountering one in the wild, unless you want to become its personal barbell. Then at number 25, we have the male version of Pub Run, a fan favourite, pub runs waste no time turning their prey into puddles of goo. They cause a lot of chaos both in and out of the wilds. Then evolving into number 26, Pub Broken. If you see a stampede of heroes fleeing, that usually means a pub broken is in the area. Then finally evolving into number 27, Pub King. This hero is so psychotic that it even considers suicide when attempting to bring down its prey. No scientist has been able to calculate the full length of its hooks. Which then brings us on to number 28, Grana. A popular choice amongst professional trainers, any attempt to enter a league without a Grana in your lineup is usually met with ridicule. Grana will then evolve into number 29, Shoshera. As far as Shoshera is concerned, it is always bedtime. If you are not asleep, it will do everything in its power to change that. And then finally, Shoshera will evolve into number 30, Nano Y. Nano Y is constantly obsessed with powering up other heroes at the most inappropriate moment. It also likes to heal even when at full health. Then at number 31 we have Pump Up. Born a natural survivalist, catching and battling with a Pump Up can sometimes feel like an impossible task. Pump Up's next and final evolution is number 32, Subworth. With the power of dance and electro, Subworth manages to turn every battle into a rave. If your rival is an old person, they will probably complain about the noise. Then at number 33 we have a single evolution, High Noon. This requires the Dead Eye Badge to use outside the hours of 11am and 1pm. Like clockwork, High Noon also gets nervous around Ryu or any of its evolutions. Coming in at number 34 is Mayday, the friendliest hero, makes a perfect companion for any scientist. It's extremely apologetic over the smallest accident. Mayday then transforms into number 35 at Doomsday. The truest evil is responsible for the Ice Age and can destroy entire ecosystems. Trainers do everything they can to prevent this evolution. Then at number 36 we have another single evolution, Fridge. Fridge spends its entire life in one spot and usually ignores commands. Being easy prey they are the main source of food for reflectors. Then at 37 is Discord, normally seen lingering around spiritual locations and temples. Most trainers claim to feel a disturbance in their chakras when Discorbs are nearby. Discorb will then transform into number 38, Zenorb. Discorb discovers balance once tamed by a trainer, splitting in two to become Zenorb. All the monk trainers you run into will probably have at least two or three of these. Then finally transforming into number 39, True South, the pinnacle of balance, this hero is definitely going to be the last in the Nepal Gym Leaders lineup. Now we are on to number 40, Pharaoh. The moment it's born, a pharaoh never touches the ground. If you're lucky enough to have a pharaoh, it will eventually transform into a pharaoh scream. Any trainer who has this hero is the envy of their town. Danger Zone can be heard playing when this hero battles. Then coming in at number 42 is Explodent. You know you've been visited by an explosion if your car is missing a tire and also when your house has been leveled by a firebomb. Then at number 43 we have Mitteret, only ever found in pieces in the wild. With some searching, one can find the instruction manual to assemble it. If you manage to find the pieces, it will eventually transform into a dragon yawn. 
Despite how menacing a dragon yawn sounds, it is still only the size of a cat. Then at number 45 we have a Rhino. It is said Rhinos are unable to move backward. They regularly charge into battle even when their trainers have not called on them. Then the second from last hero is number 46, Terror. Usually seen in packs of 5 or 6, scientists have yet to discover why groups of turrets are only found around doorways. Then transforming into number 47, Retro Pellet. Retro Pellets allow instant transportation to a location of its choosing. Where to is unknown, but odds are it's at the edge of a cliff. Then the last and final hero of the day is number 48, Haxico. When not in battle, Haxico is constantly trying to touch their trainer's nose. This is how they discover their darkest secret. And with that, 48 evolutions later, that is going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did like the video, then don't forget to hit the like button. And while you're down there, you might as well hit the subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you want to. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.